Hello everyone and welcome back to Carmson Farm. Uh, you join us here today, um, hopefully not being too busy of a day, but we have got jobs to do. Yeah, you see that I'm in the Manitou. Currently got a hay bale on the go because we're going to load up the troughs because overnight we had some fantastic news. Just get a little bit closer. There we go. You will see number of animals 40 last night we had 20 we have had babies we've got baby calves on the farm so i'm going to load up the uh, the troughs and make sure they've got everything they need really excited about this it means that we can now either whoops can now either um, breed the cows for for meat so that it can be sold on or we can get even more milk out of them and sell that on so I'm just going to put a couple more bales in don't think they're going to be close enough to get together we're going to try though we're going to try It's not so we'll bring that one over drop it down push it into place get the other there we go that's got both of them brilliant so yeah we're going to win. just put a couple of bales in top up the food and then we're going to have to work out exactly how much is going to be required for 40 animals to make sure we've got enough I mean we are in October at the moment so we've got a couple months where harvesting of grass oh that's just taking it right up there aren't it slurry's filling up the milk's filling up milk oh, not too bad at the moment um, yeah we just need to keep an eye on that see how quickly it goes down and then we can um, make a decent assessment of how much we need each and every month so yeah i don't know how busy we're going to be today on today's episode let's just check the sales this carol whoa that's a beast the manure spreader right so there's nothing really on there apart from the shell cultivator yeah So we need to take a look at what else is out and about and what we can do. Um, let's just have a quick look at the fields. Yeah, so we currently own field number 10, but that's all at the moment. Growth on that's looking pretty good. And the crop is canola. Now the thought process behind that is in fact let's take a ride down there thought process behind that is to buy a oil mill and then rather than taking the canola off elsewhere to sell we're going to take it to our oil mill and sell it for even more because I believe you can get around about a thousand pound per thousand litre if you sell the canola as it is harvested from the ground but i believe you can get between two two and a half thousand pounds for the canola oil and that's per thousand litre so it might be it's something i'm thinking about doing i would like to do it at least over here as well we've got this land field 10 and when we mow the grass, it misses out this bit here. And that's quite a nice area, I thought. Because if I just quickly show you, do the construction. And then we want production. So that's bakery, carpentry, dairy. Ooh, dairy. Grain mill again another option 
We're going to think about that one as well. That's £96,000. Taylor Sharp. It's in here somewhere. Cereal Factory. Oil Mill. That's the one. So there you can see it takes the canola. Quite a big, big place. However, whoops. We just try and put it in a decent position. So there you go. That just sits in that corner quite nicely. It's got access to the um, to the path and decent way in, decent way out. But we've got all this space as well before we even think about getting to the edge of where we've been mowing. So I'm thinking of putting a few production uh, points down here and see if we can start making our own money. But we've got until next, I'd say, June, July, August, before we start harvesting the canola. So up until then, we we'll try and get a nice, healthy bank balance so that spending £80,000 on this won't feel as bad. But also, I'm just going to have a quick look at the grain mill to see how big that is. That is not very big at all now if I can get them money for both of those that could be the start of a nice little empire so we need something roughly in the region well, about 180,000 pounds disposable income at the same time though I do need to upgrade this tractor it's struggling at times now it's only, I say only, it's only 190 brake horsepower. Um, but some of the machinery that we're using for the size, sizes of the fields, it's, um, yeah, it's, it, it, like I say, it is struggling. If we can get something on sale, that would be good. Because obviously saving a bit of money would be fantastic. I do want to get this field, though. Oops, wrong one. This field here, field 22, it is £342,000. Now if we sold field 5 for a bit and just alternate between them, I could get that and get that prepped ready. The ultimate aim is to buy this one. Now then, this is a piece of land up, in the, up at the top area where it is a complete blank canvas. So once you purchase it, you have to get the plough on it and create your own field space. So I'd like to make that as big as possible and use that one field to generate some serious income. But I also want to be buying these sort of fields over here as well. They're not massively expensive. We do, we need so much, and we've got to get cracking now because I keep saying all these videos, I want to do this, I want to do that, and then we're not really getting anywhere. So what I might do is, I might fast forward this um, a few months down the line because we're in the winter months now, and nothing's really going to be happening. There's no harvests to be had. There's going to be the last of the grass will get cut soon, um, and I'll turn some of those bales into silage over the, month, over the, uh, over the winter months. Uh, the cows will produce milk, and we can do we can um, sell that on. There will be obviously the wool from uh, from the sheep, which I haven't checked on. So we're going to go and have a quick look at them now. Make sure they've got all the food and water they need. You'll also notice I have increased the speed of the game to times five because I thought on real time it wasn't really progressing enough and we were getting everything done very very early in the day yeah good morning everybody so let's see what we've got here we have got 100% health we've got 20 animals have we got any wool not much let's get back down to the animals sheep grass Right, so they could probably do with another bale, but they've got plenty of water. Ultimately, 
I want to start marking things off for um, for certain animals. Like this field there, field four. It's just got grass in it. It's quite restricted in terms of access. You can't get harvester in there, so I can't really change what grows in there. But what I'm thinking of is if I just have that as growing grass just to feed the sheep, and that way I can buy more and more sheep, and they've got plenty of food there. We've got field 10, which we currently own. That's the one where I would be uh, producing the hay bales for the cows. So it's nice and close to where we are with the cows. Number six ultimate is what I want to buy, so we can um, grow wheat there. Now this is where things start to improve, I think. We'll grow wheat in field six. The wheat will then be taken to the grain mill, which we're going to be building over in that corner at field 10. That will then turn it into flour. With the swath that's left over, we can turn those into straw bales, which go to the cows. Anything that they don't require, if we've got too much stock, we just sell on. So I'm trying to keep things as close as possible um, to each other so that you know we're not making unnecessary trips. Uh, one thing I do want to get as well is this area here, number seven. Number seven, unfortunately you can't just, right, we're going to we'll quickly run over. Number seven, there's no farmland whatsoever. Eagle-eyed viewers, or those in the know of Carmston, will already know what is in seven. But it is all this. And it's got everything we need. There is all the storage, all the shelters. We've got silos. There's petrol tanks. There's everything we need. And it's centrally located. It's absolutely perfect for us. I mean, look at that area in there. I mean, we've already been in here once. But that's just fantastic. It's incredible. Number three, again, a decent feel. We need to start get. We need to start cracking on. It's all right having one hundred eighty thousand pounds in the bank, but if you're not going to do anything with it, if you're not going to grow quickly, there's no point having it at all. So yeah, that's where we're at. That's what we're going to do. Hello, dear. We need to up things now and get going. So I'm just going to make a jump here rather than running around we're just going to make a visit down the road to see if one of the fields has got the grass ready to go I don't want to be doing too many videos of just me cutting grass I mean it just seems to be my thing um, other other people here on YouTube who do uh, farming simulators they have their, their things I mean look at Dagawin for example the guy loves poplars, absolutely loves them. And that's great, and that's what he does. I seem to be the grass version of that. It's what works for you. If you can, if you know you, you're good at something, you can do it well, then do it and make your money off it. And it makes for good videos as well. But like I say, I don't want to be just cutting grass on every single video because that's all you seem to be seeing. I need to get this moved on so we're harvesting proper crops. Um... Yes, we've got to do the grass as well in order to uh, help feed the animals. But we need to get more production sites going now. There's some incredibly big fields around here. We need to be utilising them as best we can. And getting as much money as we can so we can improve this equipment. Because I don't want to be just limping along with this anymore. How are we doing? Ready to harvest. Oh, the grass has grown. And what we like on 98%. So that is just about, I'd say, in the next hour, maybe two. That will all turn it into silage and I can get that sold. And how many bales do we have? I don't think it tells you. Statistics. No. Doesn't say how many bales are in that area does it hmm okay I think there's about 
what would we say, 30, maybe 40 bales there? Because they are the larger size ones, I think. Five and a half? Yeah, five and a half thousand litres. Trail and a half load. So yeah, we're going to get those collected soon. So in the next hour and a half, that would be great. Maybe done. Actually, best check the ones over here.